Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle and today I'm back with another bullet journal video. Today we're going to be doing a March 2019 plan with me video where I show you all of my spreads for March. I'm actually really excited for how this one turned out. I like it a lot better than my spreads for February. January was also a really good month. So if you want to see my spreads for those two months, I did make videos on them. I will link them down in the description box so you can watch them after this video. So for this month I went with like a whimsical dainty plant theme so I have a lot of little tiny plants, leaves, and like floral prints everywhere. I thought that it would tie in well with spring since spring does start this month. So if you want to see my spreads, then let's get into it. Okay, so for my cover page, I just drew a wreath around the word March with a bunch of dainty leaves and flowers sprouting all around it. I love the look of tiny florals and plant patterns. They're just so cute and pretty to me. And I do have a sketch of some vines hanging from the top of the page because I was first going to go with a vine slash leaf theme, but then I just turned it into a floral plant theme and decided I wanted to do a wreath instead. So I just left the hanging vines there and I'm going to go back to it later and see how I feel about them after I finish the rest of my spreads. And now I'm coloring in the leaves with five different shades of green using my Crayola Super Tips markers. I just took one color at a time and colored in a bunch of random leaves. I wasn't really paying attention to the placement of the colors. I was just having fun with it and I like how it turned out. And I also colored in some of the flowers. The flowers I drew are all really random. I'm not even sure what the names of some of them are. I just looked on Pinterest for some inspiration and picked some that I liked the most. And I also picked ones that were easy to draw. I usually try to keep my drawings very easy and minimal since I'm not that great at drawing. So next up is our monthly spread. So I just have a vine going from March across the top of the page and I will color it in later. And I went with a very basic layout for the calendar, just six dots down and seven dots across and I put the date in the bottom right corner because I don't like running into it when I write inside the box if it's in the top right or top left corner. And I also left room at the bottom for me to write down my goals for the month and any notes that I need to jot down. In the bottom right corner, I added more flowers slash leaf doodles, very random ones again. And on the right hand side, I wrote a little saying that says, still growing, dot dot dot. Because I feel like I needed to remind myself that I am still growing every day as a person, just trying to better myself. I feel like in February, I faced a lot of challenges. I did grow personally and professionally even though it was really tough, but I did it. So this is just a little reminder to myself that I am still growing. On the next page are my mood and habit trackers. So for my mood tracker, I just drew vines and each leaf on the vine represents one day of the month and I will color it in according to my mood based on the legend that I made at the bottom. I'm actually really excited to use this tracker because I realize I like having completely separate sections to color in because for my February mood tracker, I had to color in petals of a rose. But I don't know, I just wasn't really enjoying coloring in each day. But when I had individual hanging light bulbs for my January spread, I really enjoyed filling that in. So I decided to kind of replicate it with the individual leaves this month. I don't even know if that all made sense. <laughs> Hopefully it did. But anyway, on to my habit tracker. For the past two months, I wrote out each date eight times because I had eight habits that I was keeping track of but I was so tired of all the hand cramps plus it just took way too long to do it that way so I went with a sideways layout so that I only had to write out each day once and I did have to draw 18 vertical lines though and that took a lot of stability and endurance and after the first three lines I was already thinking about using a ruler for the rest of them but I figured it would look weird with a majority of really straight, nice lines and then three wobbly, uneven lines in the beginning. So I just stuck through it, pushed through and drew all of the lines free-handed. It sounds like I'm being a big baby, but dang, these trackers can get very tedious. But it is really satisfying once you finish all of your trackers. So on the next page, I added a quote which says, A flower does not think of competing with the flowers next to it. It just blooms. And this quote really spoke to me because it went with the flower theme. 
but it also really pertains to my life because the past few weeks I've been in a very competitive mood lately. I'm not sure why, but I've just been feeling like I need to be the best or I need to make people think that I'm better than this person. But it's such a draining mentality, like I'm exhausted. So I just added this quote to remind myself to stop thinking like I'm better than other people and instead just focus more on myself and not what other people are doing. So yeah, it's just a little friendly reminder to myself again. And around the quotes, I added another wreath of leaves and flowers. I just like how delicate and ethereal it feels. I didn't try to make my lettering perfect either, as you can see because I tend to get caught up in trying to make things look super perfect. So this time, I just wrote and whatever happened, happened. And then next to that, I have my brain dump page where I can just spew any ideas that I have, jot them down. And again, I added the vine detail at the top, making it look like the words are connected and some more flower doodles at the bottom of the page. I was also thinking of doing a dandelion theme but instead I went with this theme because it has a bit more variety. But I did add in some dandelions throughout my spreads, which I absolutely love because I have always had a huge love for dandelions for some reason, especially after watching Beauty and the Beast where Belle is in that field of dandelions. Ugh, that part is just so pretty and so satisfying. Please comment below if you can relate. <laughs> Alright, so now we have our final spread, which is our first weekly spread for March. I added a vine doodle at the top again, but this time I made it look like it's being wrapped around a branch or just some type of long piece of wood. I don't even know, but I like how it turned out. And I'm using a horizontal layout again because, I don't know, it just I just like how these look and they work really well for me, more than the vertical layouts, I think. Plus, I love the minimal look to this one, so I just lettered the days of the week and trailed off the last letter to act as the divider for the days, and I colored in a green circle in front of each day to indicate the date. So to add some finishing touches, I went back to my monthly spread and added a drop shadow because it looked like it could use a little more something something, so I just used my Tombow Fudenosuke soft tip pen for that. And finally, I just erased the sketch of the vines that I had on the cover page because I decided that I did not actually want to keep it. But I don't know, let me know if you guys think I should add it to my journal. Maybe I'll add it in after this video. And that's it! Here is the final flip through of my March 2019 setup. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below how you're liking these bullet journal videos because I really enjoy making them. Bullet journaling has been like my latest obsession. Art and organization is really cool to me, so I like being able to share these things with you guys. So anyway, please also be sure to subscribe down below and follow me on my social medias. I'm always active on Instagram and I also have a TikTok now, so if you wanna follow me, then links will be down below so that's it for today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye i'm like so wedding <laughs> okay i'm trying to record here yeah me too <laughs> and today's shout out goes out to it's me grace hi grace thank you so much for your comments oh my gosh my calligraphy definitely needs some work still but thank you and i definitely do notice you hey girl what's up and if you want a chance to be shouted out all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment and i'll choose one of you guys to shout out in my next video